Shalom, Kodoshim, Shalom, Shalom. In this warfare prayer, we are going to be dealing with evil dreams. Dreams is one of the few avenues that the Most High talks to us. Yo, chapter 33, verse 14 through 18. For Elohim speaks once, yet twice, yet man perceives it not. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falls upon men, and slumberings upon the bed, then he opens the ears of men and seals their instruction. That he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from man. He keeps back his soul from the pit and his life from perishing by the sword. If you're a frequent dreamer, then it may be a possibility that Yahuwah has called you to be called a prophet or a prophetess. Numbers chapter 12 verse 6 it is written, And he said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I, Yahuwah, will make myself known unto him in a vision and will speak unto him in a dream. In these last days, many people are having dreams and visions, and a lot of them are prophetically speaking to them. But they don't even understand why they have these dreams. Joel chapter 2 verse 28, And it shall come to pass afterward, that I will pour out my ruach upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. Dreams are very mysterious. We shouldn't just ignore them because dreams are a way that Yahuwah allows us to see into the spirit realm and understand how to go about our spiritual battles. It can be a way of exposing the level of the word that's in us and calling us into a deeper fellowship with the Most High. Proverbs chapter 25 verse 2, it is written, It is the glory of Elohim to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings is to search out a matter. The dreams that we have may also be showing us the secrets of our past, our present, and even our future. It can be exposing the thing that's afflicting us. The dream may also reveal the generational strongholds that's been affecting the family line for years and years. Maybe there's a soul tie that needs to be broken, a past boyfriend or a girlfriend. Maybe there's an evil covenant that we're not aware of that we may have gotten ourselves into. Overall, when we have dreams, most likely than not, it's just leading us to go into prayer. It deepens our relationship with Yahuwah. And we know that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Now, we can get dreams from Yahuwah, but also we have an enemy that likes to come and pollute our dreams. Matthew 13, 25 and 26. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also. This warfare prayer is going to deal specifically with this issue. The enemy likes to come in and sow tares, deposits. They like to sow their fear, lust, and any other arrows in the night. The old chapter 7 verse 13 and 14 it is written when I say my bed shall come for me my couch shall ease my complaints then you scare me with dreams and terrify me through visions in order for us to deal with this issue we have to go on the offensive every plant that our Heavenly Father has not planted shall be uprooted Matthew chapter 3 verse 10 through 12 and now also the axe is laid onto the root of the trees therefore every tree which brings not forth good fruit is honed down and cast into the fire I indeed immerse you with water unto repentance, but he that comes after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I'm not worthy to bear. He shall immerse you with the Ruach HaKodesh and with fire, whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the garner, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. Hallelujah. As we go into this prayer, O Yahuwah, immerse us with the fire of the Ruach HaKodesh and a deliverance from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet in the name of Yahushua. O fire of the Ruach Kakudesh, arise, burn the ashes every plantation of the wicked with unquenchable fire in the name of Yahushua. If you are frequently having nightmares and bad dreams or even worse, sleep paralysis, this prayer is for you. So follow along with me and pray along with me and we're going to get to the root of this issue in Yahushua's holy name. Let us first confess some psalms that promises Yahuwah divine protection over us. Psalms 91 He that dwells in the secret place of El El Yon shall abide under the shadow of El Shaddai. I will say of Yahuwah, He is my refuge and my fortress. My Elohim in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover you with His feathers and under His wings shall you trust. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, 
but it shall not come nigh you. Only with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made Yahuwah, which is my refuge, even El Elyon, your habitation, there shall no evil befall you, neither shall any plague come nigh your dwelling. But he will give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you up in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shall you trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Hallelujah. Psalms 121, it is written, I will lift up my eyes onto the hills, from whence comes my help. My help comes from Yahuwah, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer your foot to be moved. He that guards you will not slumber. Behold, he that guards Yasharel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Yahuwah is your guard. Yahuwah is your shade upon your right hand. The sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. Yahuwah shall guard you from all evil. He shall guard your soul. Yahuwah shall guard you going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Hallelujah. Psalms 27 verses 1 through 3. Yahuwah is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Yahuwah is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host shall encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war shall rise against me, in this will I be confident. Hallelujah. When we go to bed at night, our physical man is sleeping, but our spiritual man is wide awake. That's why it is also very important that we must put on the whole armor. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 through 17. Finally, my brethren, be strong in Yahuwah and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of Elohim that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. But we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of Elohim, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, where you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Ruach, which is the word of Yahuwah. It is very important that we make a habit of confessing scriptures. The word is our offensive weapon in battle. For the word of Yahuwah is quick and powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing of sunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him with whom we have to give account. Yahuwah also has assigned his holy angels to watch over us. Psalms 103, 20-21 Bless Yahuwah, ye his angels, that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless ye Yahuwah, all ye his hopes, ye ministers of his, that do his pleasure. The holy angels don't obey what we say. This scripture reveals to us that they listen to the voice of his word, and they do his pleasure. So we confess his word, then the mighty warrior angels take flight. Before we start the warfare prayers, we must confess more of the word of Yahuwah. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Let's come into agreement. Matthew chapter 18, verses 18 through 20. Amen, I say unto you, whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Revelation chapter 12 verses 10 through 11, it is written, And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our Elohim and the power of his Mashiach. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down which accused them before our Elohim day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. Hallelujah. Philippians chapter 2. 
Wherefore, Yahuwah also has highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Yahusha every knee shall bow, of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Yahuwah is Yahusha HaMashiach to the glory of Yah the Father. Yahukanah Rishon, chapter 4, verse 4. You are of Yahuwah, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. Isaiah 54, verses 14 through 17. It is written, In righteousness shall you be established. You shall be far from oppression, but you shall not fear, and from terror, but it shall not come near you. Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against you shall fall for your sake. Behold, I have created the smith that blows the coals in the fire, and that brings forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the waster to destroy. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of Yahuwah, and their righteousness is of me, says Yahuwah. James chapter 4 verse 7 Submit yourselves therefore to Yahuwah, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 10, verse 17 through 20. And the seventy returned again with joy, saying, Adonai, even the devils are subject unto us through your name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Amen. Heavenly Father, O Yahuwah, we thank you for your plans and your purpose for our lives and destinies. We thank you for the gift of dreams and spiritual sight. Yahuwah, we thank you for speaking to us through dreams and when you give us visions of the night in Yahusha's name. Thank you, O Yahuwah, for every dream you have allowed us to see in the past. Thank you for the ones that we remember. Thank you for the ones that we don't remember. Yahuwah, we thank you for the dreams that brought us blessings. We thank you for the dreams that we don't even understand. We thank you, O Yahuwah, because we know that in all things you have kept and protected us until this very day. Be glorified, be honored, all majesty and power and dominion belongs to you, O Yahuwah, forever and ever, in the name of Yahushua. Today, O Yahuwah, we surrender our dream lives into your hands. Your word says that when we lay down, we shall not be afraid, and our sleep shall be sweet, according to Proverbs chapter 3, verse 24. So therefore, we pray, Yahuwah, that from this day forward, may our sleep be sound, May they be sweet and blessed in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Father Yah, we pray that you would give us favor and the ability to sleep and wake up peacefully and soundly every day in Yahushua's holy name. We thank you, Father. Hallelujah. So let's go into spiritual warfare. I believe that through these prayers, many are going to be delivered from every evil dream, every manipulation, every witchcraft in Yahushua's holy name. Let's go. Numbers chapter 10 verse 9 And if you go to war in your land against the enemy that oppresses you, then you shall blow an alarm with the trumpets, and you shall be remembered before Yahuwah your Elohim, and you shall be saved from your enemies. O oh, Yahuwah, save us from the enemy that oppresses us in our dreams, in the name of Yahushua. From today, we bind, we rebuke, and we reject every spirit of sleeplessness. We bind, we rebuke, and reject every spirit of fear during our sleep. We bind and rebuke and reject every spirit of affliction during sleep, during dreams. We bind, we rebuke, and we reject every spirit of oppression, sickness, witchcraft, torment. We bind, rebuke, and reject all forms of nightmares and unnecessary up and downs in the dreams. We bind, we rebuke, and reject every spirit of restlessness in Yahushua's holy name. Mark chapter 3 verse 27 No man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods except he will first bind the strong man and then he will spoil his house. We bind and rebuke and we paralyze every strong man or strong woman that is behind our afflictions or brings us nightmares in the name of Yahushua. We claim all the good things which Yahuwah has revealed to us through dreams. We reject all bad and satanic dreams in the name of Yahushua. 
we claim back all the good things which we have lost as a result of defeat and attacks in our dreams in the name of Yahushua. Psalms chapter 35 verse 5 through 6. Let them be as chaff before the wind and let the angel of Yahuwah chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery and let the angel of Yahuwah persecute them. We lose angels of Yahuwah to pursue, persecute, and arrest every spiritual attacker, every dream criminal, and every masquerading spirit. And we paralyze all their activities in our lives in the holy name of Yahushua. We retrieve back our stolen virtues, our goodness, and all our blessings seven times fold. According to Proverbs chapter 6 verse 30 and 31, if a thief has been found, he is restored back all the substance of his house seven times fold in the name of Yahushua. Let all satanic manipulations through dreams be dissolved in the name of Yahushua. Henceforth, whenever we lie down to sleep, we close and lock and we seal every gateway, every doorway, every closet, and the windows of our sleep and dreams against the devil and all his demons in the name of Yahushua and by the power of his blood. Every ladder to satanic invasion in our lives be abolished forever by the blood of Yahushua in Yahushua's holy name. From now onwards, we decree and declare everywhere and every place that we lay down to sleep is sanctified and cleansed with the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach. We decree and declare every material we lay upon to sleep is sanctified and cleansed with the blood of Yahushua in the name of Yahushua. O oh, Yahuwah, let your glory, light, and presence overshadow us continually and destroy every darkness around us. When we lay down to sleep, O oh, Yahuwah, we shall sleep in peace and wake up in peace. In the name of Yahushua. Nahum chapter 2 verse 13. Behold, I am against you, says Yahuwah Sevaot, and I will burn her chariots in the smoke, and the sword shall devour your young lions, and I will cut off your prey from the earth, and the voice of your messenger shall no more be heard. O Yahuwah, silence the voice of the darkness, the messengers of Satan, and all their fruits and tentacles during our sleep permanently in the name of Yahushua. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 2 through 5 it is written, And when Yahuwah your Elohim shall deliver them before you, you shall smite them and utterly destroy them. You shall cut no covenant with them, nor show mercy unto them. But this shall you deal with them. You shall destroy their altars and break down their images, and cut down their astropoles, and burn their graven images with fire. We therefore disconnect and unplug ourselves from every unseen personality, covenant, and evil agreements that brings us evil dreams in the name of Yahushua. From today, we decree and declare every generational, ancestral, family, and bloodline strongholds, covenants, agreements, and evil attachments of our maternal and paternal lineages fighting to frustrate our stars, our destinies, and purpose in life through evil dreams, we command them to be destroyed by fire of Yahuwah in the name of Yahushua. We lose fire and brimstone to consume every ancestral, generational, bloodline connection, evil altar, shrine, temple, gates, graven images, astropoles, links, materials, and any objects producing evil dreams in our lives in the name of Yahushua. By the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach, we decree and declare, broken and nullified every unholy soul tie, agreements, vows, pledges, promises, contracts that command evil dreams in our lives in the name of Yahushua. By the blood of Yahushua, we break every evil covenant and initiation, dedication, alliance, oath, and ritual that we have made enter into through dreams in the name of Yahushua. We loose the host of heaven to gather themselves in battle array and disband all the hosts of darkness that set against us in the name of Yahushua. Numbers 23 verse 23 Surely there is no enchantment against Yahakob, neither is there any divination against Yahsharel. According to this time, it shall be said of Yahakob and of Yahsharel, What has Eluahim wrought? By the power in the blood of Yahushua, we break every curse, every hex, every vex, every incantation, every divination, every voodoo, every hoodoo, and any other bewitchment and evil domination directed against us through dreams. In the name of Yahushua, we command all past satanic defeats in the dream be converted to victory. In the name of Yahushua, every test in the dream we command to be converted to testimonies. In the name of Yahushua, every trial in the dream we command to be converted into triumphs. In the name of Yahushua. Every failure in a dream, we command to be converted to success in the name of Yahushua. 
Let all bondage in the dream be converted into stars in the name of Yahushua. Every bondage in the dream we command to be converted into freedom in the name of Yahushua. Let all our losses in the dream be converted into gains in the name of Yahushua. We command all opposition in our dreams to be converted into landslide victory in the name of Yahushua. Oh, Yahuwah, show us favor and let all our weaknesses in the dream be converted into strength in the name of Yahushua. We loose ourselves from every infirmity introduced into our lives through dreams in the name of Yahushua. Psalms 18 verse 44 and 45 it is written, As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away and be afraid out of their close places. We command every evil stranger in our bodies to come out of their hiding places and fade away in the name of Yahushua. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 19 through 22. What say I then, that the idol is anything, or that which is offered in sacrifice to idols is anything? But I say, that the things which the other nations sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils, and not to Yahuwah. And I would not that you should have fellowship with devils. You cannot drink the cup of Yah and the cup of devils. You cannot be partakers of Yahuwah's table and of the table of devils. Do we provoke Yahuwah to jealousy? Are we strong in heat? We renounce and denounce and we reject any food that we have eaten from the table of the devil or any drinks that we had drinking from his cup. We lose fire and hailstones to enter into our system right now and trouble anything that we have either eaten or drinking in a dream in the past and is causing us to be sick or suffer any kind of pain. Destroy them today and forever in the name of Yahushua. We disconnect and break any conscious or unconscious linkage with demonic caterers in the name of Yahushua. Let all avenues of eating or drinking spiritual poisons be closed forever in the name of Yahushua and the power of his blood. Let all negative materials that are circulating in our bloodstream be evacuated by fire in the name of Yahushua. Ruach HaKodesh fire circulate all over our bodies, purify our lives completely in the name of Yahushua. We command all demonic food utensils fashioned against us to catch fire and be roasted to ashes in the name of Yahushua. Every demonic kitchen assigned against our lives we command to be destroyed by earthquakes of Yahuwah in the name of Yahushua. Let all evil assignments fashioned against us through the mouth be nullified in the name of Yahushua and the power of his blood. Let all catering equipment of evil caterers attached to us be destroyed in the name of Yahushua. We command our digestive system to reject every evil command in the name of Yahushua. We remove our names from the registers of evil feeders with the blood of Yahushua in the name of Yahushua. Let the habitation of evil caterers, dream criminals, masquerading spirits become desolate in the name of Yahushua. We bind, rebuke, and we paralyze any spirit that brings us bad dreams in the name of Yahushua. We lose the fire of the Ruach HaKodesh to destroy any evil list containing our names in the name of Yahushua. We lose the fire of the Ruach HaKodesh to destroy any of our photographs that are in the air, the land, or the sea in the name of Yahushua. We destroy by fire any coffin prepared for us in the name of Yahushua. Yahuwah rebuke every satanic accident organized for our sakes in the name of Yahushua. Let the blood of Yahushua wash all our organs in our bodies in the name of Yahushua. Let all sicknesses planted in our lives through evil spiritual foods be destroyed in the name of Yahushua. We lose the fire of Yahuwah to boil all rivers, lakes, or any bodies of water, harboring unfriendly demons against us in the name of Yahushua. We bind, we rebuke, and we paralyze every water spirit, marine spirit, mermaid spirit, dog spirits, or any spiritual personalities on assignments against our dream lives. We cross their plans, impacts, attacks, and manipulations against us and our households in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. We cover our minds, our unconscious, our subconsciouses with the blood of Yahushua. We bind and we forbid all forms of negative and demonic influences over our minds, unconscious or subconsciouses from henceforth. And we forbid and end all evil activities in our minds. We bind and rebuke and cast into the abyss every evil spirit, every dream criminal, masquerading spirit, spirit spouse that are working against our minds and preparing it for manipulative dreams. And we decree and declare that we have the mind of Mashiach from this day forward in the name of Yahushua. We decree and declare that our minds are free from evil thoughts, imaginations, discussions, and words that cause evil dreams in the name of Yahushua. 
2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3 through 6. But though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through Yah to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of Yah, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Mashiach, and having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. According to the scripture, May every unhealthy philosophy, stronghold, and attachment that we have allowed to be created in our minds that open the door for evil dreams be destroyed and pulled down from today onwards in the name of Yahushua. We disconnect ourselves, our destinies, and our families from human satanic agents who are influencing our dreams negatively in Yahushua's holy name. We take authority over our spirit, our minds, over every cell, organ, and structures of our bodies. We bind, we rebuke, and we ban any oppressive spirit from touching them in the name of Yahushua. Isaiah chapter 53 verses 4 through 5 it is written, Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of Elohim, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Hallelujah. By the healing power of the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach, we decree and declare that our mind, body, soul, and spirits are healed of every negative influence or attack on our lives as a result of these evil dreams, and by His stripes, we are healed in the name of Yahushua. We renounce and we denounce every evil yoke and burden upon our lives projected through dreams we command them to be destroyed today and forever in the name of Yahushua. We lose fire and brimstone, combined with acid, to rain down from heaven. Burn the ashes any unseen evil covering used by the devil and his demons to blind our spiritual eyes to keep us away from the visions and dreams that Yahuwah is giving us in the name of Yahushua. We decree and declare that from today, our spiritual eyes and ears are open to Yahuwah's voice and instructions. Through our dreams and night visions, we will know what Yahuwah wants us to do to enforce our deliverance healing and financial dominion in the name of Yahushua. We burn with fire and destroy every evil trap, snare, or net set against our lives and destinies from the dream world in the name of Yahushua. We decree and declare that today that the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach will be a permanent covering for us and our households. We decree and declare that our lives and dreams holy and sanctified for Yahushua. No more evil dreams and attacks in the name of Yahushua. We frustrate every arrow of shame, death, sickness, setback, backwardness, poverty, confusion, sexual immorality, sexual perversion, lust, marital delay, and mental illnesses into our lives and families through our dreams in the name of Yahushua. We recoup and recover our financial blessings from today. All of our money that is being spent in the dream world by demonic personalities through evil reverse representation, we command that they bring them back seven times four. We take it back in the name of Yahushua. Yahuwah has given us the power to create wealth. We are connected to the Abrahamic covenant of wealth creation ordered through Yahushua HaMashiach. So we shall be rich in cattle, in gold, in silver, and in properties. Anything stolen from us in our dreams, we recover them back now in the name of Yahushua. O Yahuwah, loose your holy angels of our lives and destinies to go into every dark and secret place where our money is hidden and bring them back to us in physical reality in the name of Yahushua. We renounce and we denounce and reject any evil name that's been spiritually assigned to us in our personalities and is being used by demons and evil powers to appear and to torment us in dreams in the name of Yahushua. Henceforth, we forbid our names from being used by demons and human agents of darkness for evil pronouncements, incantations, charms, dream manipulations, and any form of witchcraft in the name of Yahushua. From today onwards, we renounce and we denounce and we reject every demonic foods and contaminated drinks, parties, meetings, and evil altars used to work against us in the dream world in the name of Yahushua. Any demonic animal or creature spiritually attached to our personalities, we reject their connections from today and we command them all to drop down to the floor, catch fire, roast the ashes, be buried by the earth in the name of Yahushua. We decree and declare our unity with Mashiach Yahushua in mind, 
in body, in soul, and spirit. Whatever we have consumed in the dream, let them flush out of our system right now in the name of Yahusha in the power of his blood. We lose miracle healing and we receive healing in all our organs of our bodies of any disease, ailment, or medical condition caused by spiritual dream pollution and attacks in the name of Yahusha. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 18 through 20 it is written, Flee fornication. Every sin that a man does is without the body. But he that commits fornication sins against his own body. What? Know you not that your body is the temple of the Ruach Kakudesh, which is in you, which you have of Yahuwah, and you are not your own. For you are bought with a price. Therefore glorify Yah in your body and in your Ruach, which are Yahuwah's. We decree and declare that our bodies are the temple of the Ruach Kakudesh, so we bind and rebuke and we reject all forms of sexual perversion, lust, in our dreams from today. We nullify and break every evil covenant that produces sex in our dreams. And we claim total deliverance, healing, and restoration for any damage in our lives as a result of having sex in the dream in Yahushua's holy name. We break and totally destroy all strongholds of evil water dreams and vision killers. We are seated with Mashiach in heavenly places, far above principalities and powers. We are in charge and we will never be in bondage again in the holy name of Yahushua HaMashiach. We decree and declare that we have victory in all our dreams henceforth. We have victory over the powers of evil dreams. We receive fresh anointing that breaks every yoke to fulfill Yahuwah's plan for our lives. Oh Yahuwah, we pray that you would give us favor and mercy to dream divine dreams of glory, honor, success, wealth, breakthroughs, testimonies, deliverance, family glory, restoration, peace, joy, happiness, and fruitfulness in the name of Yahushua. Zechariah chapter 2 verses 3 through 5 it is written, And behold, the angel that talked with me went forth, and another angel went out to meet him, and said unto him, Run, speak to this young man, saying, Jerusalem shall be inhabited as towns without walls, for the multitude of men and cattle therein. For I, said Yahuwah, will be unto her a wall of fire round about, and will be the glory in the midst of her. O Yahuwah, according to this word, we pray that you will build a wall of fire round about us and our households and be the glory in the midst of it in the name of Yahushua. Acts chapter 2 verse 2 through 4 it is written, And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire, and it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Ruach Kakudesh, and began to speak with other tongues as the Ruach gave them utterance. Heavenly Father, we pray as a rushing mighty wind you fill our households and fill us up afresh with the Ruach Kakudesh until the cup overflows, every crack, every crevice, every void has been emptied up. Father, fill us up. Fill us with the Ruach Kakudesh in the name of Yahushua. Thank you, Abba Yah, for this mighty deliverance. Thank you for the victory and deliverance you have given us over satanic evil dreams in the name of Yahushua. Amen. Hallelujah. Our glory, dominion, honor, and strength belongs to Yahuwah Elohim, Sabaoth. Thank you, Yahushua. Glory to the Lamb. Listen as many times as you need. Deliverance is a process. But who the Son sets free is free indeed. Shalom.